Yo, what's up everybody, Ochoa back with another video and I am super, super excited to be bringing you today's video because I know you guys have probably been waiting on a 10th gen Civic video for a while now, I'm sorry, but I'm still waiting on parts guys, literally, it's been wait like 2-3 months since I ordered my downpipe, I'm waiting for rims, like, you know, I'm literally giving away everything that I want to do because I'm desperate this, at this point, I just, I want my parts, I want to know what they're like, but, no. Like I said, I'm super, super excited because we're going to be going and talking about the 3G today. Not even talking about today's actually work day. As you can see, I have the trunk open. I have a bunch of boxes and tools out. If you go here, I already have my jack and breaker bar set up. I have a few impact sockets already set up, guys. I'm, I'm ready to work. Um, I was just making sure I had everything right, the right process. And I'm going to be explaining how to install rear coilovers today um i would be doing the front guys but i actually have a front suspension rebuild that i want to be doing and let's go over to these boxes because obviously you guys have probably seen these boxes i was showing you them earlier in the video but these boxes right here this right here is a true reveal these you guys have seen on my instagram and snapchat and facebook already but these are my 3g eclipses new coilovers guys all four brand new from K Sport themselves. They had to make them from factory because they didn't have any in stock for this car. So this is what they look like. Let me, oh, I'll probably pop, pop, pop the front one out. So this is the front one. We're not gonna be working with this one today, but this is what they look like. It is a little heavy, like 30 or 40 pounds, but you can get a good workout with this. But yeah, I really, really like the black with the orange accents, guys super super nice and i can't wait to get this front coilover installed obviously it won't be this video but i'm just saying i am really really excited and with that being said this one is the one we'll be working with today the rear coilover it's very very simple it's just a few bolts but god i really love this black with orange accents guys so yeah those are the coilovers but as i was saying I have a front suspension rebuild that I am working on or that I will be working on soon and it's in this box. I've been having it for about a, a month or two now. I actually mentioned it in one of my recent videos. Um, I'm going to put it up here for you guys to watch. But yeah, um, I have new new CV axle boots, uh, new control arms guys over here, um, new tie rod ends, new bushings, new bolts, new sway bar links. And New, new everything basically for the front suspension because yes this is a 2003 and I haven't shown you what it looks like underneath so I think we're going to take the time and I'm going to go and show you a few pics of what it looks like underneath right now. So as you can see by those clips, um, very oily, very rusty, very old. Um, not sure if it's safe to have it like that. So for what it is, I'm just gonna get it replaced. I'm just gonna change it. And hopefully that gets rid of a lot of the problems that the car has with steering and stuff like that. That's not what we're gonna be doing today. So I am gonna be doing a front suspension rebuild, but I'm not going to be doing it in today's video. It's going to be in a different video. And with that being said, we can finally get started on this rear suspension coilover install. Um, and I'm super excited because this is my very first coilover install, so hopefully I don't mess this up in any way. Um, and it sucks because, yes, I do have a stick holding up my trunk. My uh, airbag things for the trunk air struts actually don't work. They don't hold up my trunk. If I were to take that off, it would fall. And I'm going to need the trunk to, to be open. So, if you guys see, I have already started on this side, actually. I have everything set up take this little plastic piece off i have my trim tools over there um so yeah i already started on this side but i'm not fully done so first things first guys you know make sure you set up your jack like i do um have it set up under the car particularly i have it set up right under the frame i believe that's the cross member the rear cross member so just set it up there you can jack it up safely 
and before you start jacking it up make sure that you unbolt the wheels which is what we're gonna do these are just 522 mils So this wheel is giving me a hard time for some reason all the lug nuts just don't want to fall off so i have my wheel off but make sure that before you take off your wheel make sure that you please please use jack stands on both sides of the car i haven't put that one in but that's because i haven't worked on this side yet but i'm gonna put it in and like i said please 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 make sure that you guys use jack stands because they are for safety purposes and I don't want any of you guys to get hurt and I, I like to tuck the wheel under the car for extra protection in case it falls or something but the wheel is off I can take the jack off and what we're gonna do next is under here All right, if you guys can see it I'm gonna try to show you but this right here this long tube this with our spring this is our strut and this is what we're gonna be removing is just a bolt right here in the back right here it's a 17 millimeter bolt I'm gonna be removing that and then at the top, we have a 14 millimeter here, a 14 millimeter here, and a 17, a 17 millimeter right in the middle. And once you remove that, that should be able to just pry loose. So let's get that started and let's see how easy or how hard it's gonna be. So what I, re what I recommend doing first guys is, obviously we're gonna do that bolt and and remove it but I suggest starting with the top just loosening up the bolts and getting those ready to go so that you don't have to worry about you know doing that after because those are probably gonna be a pain so get your trusty breaker bar and so I look like we're gonna find the 14 mils first butter all right guys so i tried to take off the strut over here um you know and it's so rusted on from the bushing and the rust that you guys see this it's all hammered up and bent now with this hammer with this hammer and i still couldn't get that shit out if you guys can see the bolts out here these two are off to the side obviously i haven't taken this one out because i wanted to loosen it from the bottom but i couldn't fucking do it so here we are putting the car back together and i'm it's looking like next week on saturday i'm gonna end up taking it to the shop and trying to get that worked out but i'm kind of pissed off i'm not gonna lie because i did all this work i've been here for about two three hours now and i got nothing done literally nothing done because we couldn't take that thing out it's looking like it's gonna need a torch so let me put it back together and i'll come back to you when i'm done yo what's up everybody ochoa back i started working on my 3g eclipse right now but while i was working i actually finally just hit a thousand subscribers so thank you thank you guys so much for the love and support you guys have been killing it we finally hit a thousand subscribers which means we're finally gonna start getting them youtube checks but anyways with that being said we are working on our 3g eclipse today um if you guys don't know we are doing a k sport rear coilover install the reason I said rear coilover install is because I'm specifically working on just the rears today. 
because under this box um if you guys can see right here this box right under here that's actually front control arms front you know bushings front tie rod ends and all that and this is all gonna get replaced because it's all rusty and it's about time you know it's time for it to go we've been fighting here with my stepfather and his whole shop for like a good three four hours trying to get all these you know little bushings and screws off he's finally working on the other side we're almost done but yeah i'm gonna put i'm gonna put some clips up for you guys so you guys can see what we've been struggling with because we did take out the little nut that goes behind the strut this one right here obviously this one is broken so you guys can't see it that well but we did take it out and it was a pain in the ass so here are the clips Finally! Finally! Perro! Perro! We're finally ready to install our coilovers on this side, so... This is what they look like, guys. K-Sport coilovers. They are super sexy and super easy to install. All you gotta do is, after you take them out, is... Boom! You just come over here, you find the hole, which is pretty simple. You line up... Line up your screws. Line up your screws. And just like that, they should be in. So when you're putting the coil over in, I would suggest starting from the bottom over here, this part right here, and then working your way over to the top, which would just be this right here. Obviously, I have the top screwed on just to give me support, but it's not tight. You guys can see right here, I could take this bolt off if I wanted to, but we're just trying to put it in. I have adjusted it all the way to probably, I think that's as low as it can go. I'm not too sure, just so I can get the strut to fit in. But I think I'm going to need a jack or something to apply a little pressure just to get it in to fit snugly. I'm not sure how it's going, but over here it's not too bad. I just need a little pressure. I don't know how this one's doing. No le metas al fondo tampoco, right? It doesn't go all the way in. No por el tornillo que lo va a presionar. Seems like it just might need a screw, so we're going to see if it hides. Ah. Ponele grasa para que el dente. Okay. Putting it in been a real real struggle this car has been such a pain in the ass guys we literally had to cut off the old ones as you guys can see literally cut them out them shits were terrible so right now we're just gonna put a little bit of grease on the on the little rings and on the, all the bolts so that they don't get stuck together you know something called anti-seize just so that it can stay in place and if i ever want to take it off again it will come off a little easier because this shit was a pain in the ass. I feel bad because I did take up my stepfather's time and his space at his shop. So, you guys better start liking this video uh, up. All right, guys. Moment of truth. The coilovers have been installed on both sides. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but they're in there. They're installed. And 
honestly, I didn't even measure them, guys, because I'm planning on taking it to an alignment shop pretty soon. And I got to do a front suspension rebuild, so it's whatever. But, man, I'm excited. Let's drop this. Oh, I should probably close the trunk. Yeah, let's do that. Safety first. Let's close the trunk. All right. And let's drop it in one, two, three. I can already tell you it's so much closer to the ground guys. Yeah, the back doesn't look much different, but it definitely looks a lot closer to the ground than I would have thought. So if you guys don't remember, this gap was pretty big. I could probably fit my whole head in there. Now I fit, I fit my hand freely which is fine because I don't want to get it too low yet. Not until I get my wheels, which is also something else that you guys are, I know, waiting on. So I'm planning on getting those soon. And I'm not gonna lie, but for not measuring it, it looks pretty fire. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's quick little video. Um, it was just a 3G Eclipse GT rear coilover install and remember that the reason i did rear coilovers only is because i am going to work on the front suspension but that's going to be a whole rebuild so yeah um it's about time i get this done hopefully the car rides a lot better and i'm going to go test it out go get you know wash go clean up and just get the car going because i got to get it out of this shop because they need the space so uh, i don't know if it's just me guys but i'm driving home right now you know tell you for a fact is obviously i won't feel a very very big difference because it's just the back but the back definitely feels a lot more bouncier if you know what i mean like i'm driving and it's very smooth like it's very very smooth way smoother than it was on stocks i can tell you that for a fact but it's like how do i how do i say this it's a little bouncy you know like i go over a bump and you can kind of feel it even though there's like nothing back there there's a little bit of weight because i have on my bumper like equipment on my bumper hardware that i need to put on my new bumper when i put it on but i haven't put it on because i want to also get a video for that um i want to get videos for everything guys i'm sorry that these videos come out a little bit of ass there's a lot of work that i have to do to this car that's very Before I forget, make sure you look in the bag that the coilovers come with because mine did come with the dampening adjustment. So just put it in right here. There's a little spot for it, literally. Just boom. And there you go. Should fit in just like that. And you can do soft or hard, however you want. I'm just not gonna touch it, so I'll leave it how it was. Make sure you do it on both sides. But yeah. I'm finally, finally home. You guys can probably tell because this is the background where I usually record all my other videos. But what can I say, guys? The back is, it is a little bouncy, like I was saying previously. But the car definitely feels a lot more comfortable than it used to. Um, personally, I think so. Um, a lot of people might think it's a little more bouncy and a little too sporty. Yes, you can definitely feel that it's a sportier suspension but it does have some comfortability to it, which I appreciate. So here's what it looks like. Super, super sexy, guys. For someone that didn't measure the ride height or the coilovers, I got the front with the back, or front with the back pretty even, if I say so myself. And I really do appreciate that this, four fingers, if we go over here, also four fingers and this one seems like it's just a little bit higher up than the other side 
but that is okay it's still relatively about the same so i appreciate it and man oh man it looks good and i cannot wait to get these front ones installed so but yeah that's all i have for you guys today literally that's all i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed today's video literally we just hit a thousand subscribers and i couldn't thank you guys enough i literally would have never thought you know that i could hit a thousand subscribers but it just goes to show you guys keep grinding you guys can do anything you want in life and it's just a matter of time before you know it's your turn i guess it's all about being patient so like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new because I got plenty of 3G content coming. And good news is I think I'm done with the 3G content. Just a little bit for now because I know you guys have been missing the 10th gen clip. 10th gen clips. Look at me. The 10th gen Civic. So I will be bringing the 10th gen Civic back. And if you guys have been following me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, whatever it is. Then you guys are super super excited because you guys know what is coming i actually just got some parts from the tension civic that came in so stay tuned if you don't follow me go follow me link is in the description down below but yeah all i have for you guys today she looks super super good can't wait to get the front suspension rebuild going so ochoa out <laughs>